Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. And today, I'm really excited to show you something that I just recently purchased and got. And I'm actually uh, about to take it to a guy to do some welding on it to start rehabbing this. I purchased an old uh, propane tank trailer that I'm going to convert into a log hauler i got this idea from a uh, jared from second life designs he's got an awesome youtube channel but he had converted one of these and ever since i saw his video i've been on the lookout for one and i have got one now uh, i will admit it needs a little tlc like it is pretty in pretty rough shape but here's the good news it's got new tires and it's uh it is a stout sucker and I don't, I don't care what condition it is in, really. I bought the thing for 200 bucks. Like, yeah, you, you heard me, 200 bucks. It was, I, I couldn't find, my other log hauler, which is awesome, cost more than that one did, and it was a steal. But I got this one, I'm gonna show you, kind of walk around, and then I'm also gonna kinda, we'll update you on the process as I rehab it. I've gotta get some things welded. I'm gonna paint it, I gotta do some new wiring. I've got to put some new brakes on it and all of that, but this sucker is going to allow me to pick up some monster logs and multiple logs and allow me to do it without having to have a lot of equipment. i got to put a winch on it, but I'll keep you updated on this process, but you've got to check this thing out. There she is. That's right, man. Look at that sucker. It is, it is big, and uh, it is stout, and it is going to allow me to pick up some logs this was originally a propane tank hauler i found this in higdon arkansas at like a an equipment rental place it was tucked in this back corner and honestly i saw it out of the corner of my eye and i i couldn't stop because it was pouring down rain but i called the guy and asked him and he was like i can't believe you know what this is and he asked me what i wanted to use it for and he was like man that sounds really cool and that's what it'll work for uh and I, and I just said, would you be willing to sell it? He said, yeah. And I said, how much? And and I could not believe it. He said, 200 bucks. So I said, I'll take it. Um, and so I went up there and got it. Man, the bearings are still in good shape with the wheels. It, it, that's good. It just needs new brakes replaced. It's got brand new tires on it. Um, I'm going to have to do a lot of welding. I'm going to show you what I've got to do and some things that I plan on doing for it. But <laughs> no, this is going to allow me to pick up some bigger logs and multiple logs. I'm going to keep my other log hauler so that I can get into small places. So some of the things that I'm planning to do, and I'm actually taking to a welder today, I'm going to get some uh, chain hooks uh, welded on there so that I can like use it for my chains to mount. I'm going to put them like two of them on this side, two of them over here so that you can mount chains um, and have a hook to just kind of hold. I'm also going to put some uh, like D-ring, I don't know what their mounts welded on there so that I can use my straps and to be able to strap over the logs once I get them mounted. I'm also getting hardware, uh, there's my finger, welded up there so that I can attach a snatch block um, up there, a big time heavy duty snatch block that'll mount to the top of it because right down in this area, I've gotta get some steel um, welded on there and a plate welded so that I can mount my winch that I'm getting for this. I'm gonna have to have a place to put a winch and to put a battery and what you will do with this is you will have your winch in this area right there it will run up to there hit the snatch block drop straight down and that will allow me then to pick up some really 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 big lumber this thing the guy said was used to carry a thousand gallon uh, propane tanks which I looked up the weight can weigh up to six thousand pounds so I, man, if I found, I don't even know what I would do with a 6,000 pound log, but this will just allow me to pick up way bigger ones and way more. It's over 50 inches um, across inside there, so I can also pick up multiple logs at one time. Now, here's what I do have to do. I'm going to have to get bars welded that will be able to be picked up and moved so that when you do pick up a log, I'll be able to slide them under so that the log will rest from there. I'm also going to get welded on the back right here. I'm gonna get some stabilizers welded from, I bought them at uh, Lowe's and Home Depot that can hold with up 2,000 pounds of just that you would put kind of like a trailer uh, winch or a trailer lift to be able to lift that up. I'm gonna mount some on this end and on this end as a stabilizer so that when I am picking up a log, I can drop those down, crank them up and just help uh, as it's picking up the weight over there. So anyways, yeah, 
this is the trailer i'm also going to have to get new lights put on it to make it legal get a license plate as well as uh the the tire rims are a little rusty but i'm gonna get new brakes on there too because when you're gonna when i'm gonna be hauling stuff that's this big even though my truck will be able to handle it i'm gonna need trailer brakes as well well so brakes and wiring will be things that i add to it and then lastly to polish this turd up i'm gonna uh i'm gonna paint it probably just with some spray paint ain't gonna do no fancy paint job it's just gonna be used for hauling logs but um, I'm excited about this rehabbing my new eventually log trailer because coming up I've got a really monster white oak that a friend of mine has told me that they're taking down that I want to be able to pick up and take and it's going to require something like this to get it. Hey again, thanks for watching and again if you could hit the bell, hit the like button, smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, all those things help me as I try to grow this channel and again my goal is just to provide resources and information for people to get into urban saw milling or just chainsaw milling in general and then also hopefully it's just a place to provide encouragement and some motivation and inspiration for you as I'm trying to uh, go along on this ride of getting logs, salvage them, turn them into slabs and lumber as well as making furniture. So anyways, thanks for joining. Have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time.